wants you to be healed. He wants you well. He wants you proper. Come on, say amen to this. My name is Bishop Ron Gibson. I'm Bishop Clarence E. McClendon. My name is Dietrich Haddon. I'm Wayne Cheney. My name is Jay Hazlip. My name is Noel Jones. The Bible says that I wish above all things that you would prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. I believe that. P. Diddy, Jay-Z, they're not the only ones who should be driving Ferraris and living in large houses. The Bible says that those who sow among us should reap from us. And that's implying that the preacher is to be taken care of. All right. You know, it's, we talk about preaching in L.A., but first, we gotta, you got you to gotta help brothers out. Because you got some swag that's undeniable. So, I mean, they may not have as much money, but what are some tips you can give people to, to looking their best? You know, I, like I said, I believe you. It really is true that you only get one chance to make a first impression. So I encourage people, you know, to dress intentionally, you know, and I encourage people to dress for where you want to be, not for where you are. Yeah. Okay, so firstly, I was excited to see some of the previews. Um, can you talk a little bit about the man cave scene? I liked how you talked a little bit how uh, seeing things out of context. Yeah, well, again, it, it's a, it was a dialogue uh, about different perspectives on ministry. And again, uh, you know, various people have their ideas about what you should do. The thing about ministry is, like I gave the example, it's just like doctors. We're all called preachers, but a podiatrist and a cardiologist are different kinds of doctors. They do different things. And so it takes different things to do certain types of ministry. That's where the conversation went. Well, you know what? What do you want people to take away from this? You know, again, I want people to, number one, understand that they're not very far from God. I think, you know, sometimes people think they're so far away. And I think perhaps looking at the lives of men who are called of God will help them to understand we're people, we have challenges just like everyone else, but we approach them with faith in God. Yeah. yeah. And another question I want to ask you, last question, obviously. You know, I listen to hip-hop, love hip-hop, um, and I, I noticed that there's a little trend, and I wasn't sure. I was a little uneasy. Um, J. Cole, Born Sinner, uh, Jay-Z, Magna Carta, Holy Grail, um, Kanye, Yeezus. I'm like, what is this obsession? with the church in the sense, and I'm very careful on how I'm receiving it, I would say. Did that, do you have any comments or anything about that or why as to why people are well, choosing the church? Uh, Jesus is one of the most famous men who ever lived. And so yeah, I think, you know, uh, people gravitate to things uh, that uh, are powerful, even if they don't fully understand them. Okay. And so, you know. Hello, this is Bishop Clarence E. McClendon, and you're watching Black Tree TV. Keep it locked. <laughs>